awesomeness. She's I have nothing. 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 Yeah. I wish I'd have done that one. It would have been a lot more fun. <laughs> or, uh, oh, I'm not going to do it. I got to, you got to keep going. And then, you know, January of last year, we get this phone call. They're like, hey, would you like to come up to Washington, D.C. and play for the Armed Forces? And I said, yeah, I would love to do that. And they were like, well, uh, you know, the president's going to be there. And I said, that's cool, man. Whatever. <laughs> because... Nobody would go. And I said, yeah, I'll go, man. Like, we have a bigger purpose for being there because if you really believe, like, it's a really, you know, Washington, D.C. is like this dark, crazy place, well, then if you, you should go be some light in that place. So that's what we decided we would do is, you know, my friends and I out here, we all lead worship at church and stuff, and we're like, man, let's just go up in there and just be like, shring, shring, with some light. <laughs> And so we went up there and had a party. We went up there and had a great time and uh, and got this crazy, I mean, it's just crazy how this stuff happens. Don't ask me how this happened. The Bible says, you see a man skilled in his way to not stand before mere men, but before kings. And here I am, like, standing in front of the most powerful man on the face of the planet who had just been appointed that day. <laughs> President Trump, which is crazy. And, and he, he, okay, so this is what happened, right? Just so you know. They asked us to play the first dance. They said, when he gets here, him and his wife, you're gonna, we're gonna escort him out on stage and you play the first dance. Here's the song they want. I can't even remember how it goes. I did it my way. That's what we wanted, the first dance. So, okay, man, he's like, you know, he's the boss. So, so we worked that song up and, uh, and then like five minutes before Stuff's supposed to go down. Somebody comes and tugs on my shirt. Now, we played like two hours that night. That's the part nobody ever sees. We played two hours that night for all, for 3,000 servicemen and women. And if you've served in the armed forces, I love you. Bless you. Thank you. And, and we, played, we played this big show for all, and it was crazy. It was awesome. It was this amazing night. And uh, Tony Orlando was the, was the guy. He opened for us. It was crazy. <laughs> if, you're, if, you know, if you're younger than like, 40, you don't know who turned on the radio, but chances are. Knock three times on the ceiling if you want me. He was the coolest guy, by the way. He was like taking selfies with my wife. Wait a minute. <laughs> so they say, hey, we need you to come backstage right now. So I go backstage, we run back there, and they're like, the guy who's producing the event is literally sweating like bullets, and he's like, Josh, the president's gonna be here in five minutes. He doesn't want to dance the song that you have planned. We need three options right now. And I said, okay, well, how about this one, this one, this one? And they were like, I don't know, we gotta call. So they, get this, they get this dude on the phone that's the, like the liaison to the president in the car driving over there. And he's like, somebody asked, no joke, I could, they're on speaker and it's real bad reception. They're like, does he know the theme from Cats? <laughs> She looks at me, this woman's name was like Julie or something. Julie looks at me, she goes, do you know the theme from Cats? I said, I'm from Burleson, Texas. You think I know the theme from Cats? I said, we shoot cats. We're out here. Sing about them. If you're a cat person, I love you, bless you, but cats are from hell. I know that. I know that because I have a cat. And he told me. I am from hell. I told you that. Anyway, they said, well, we don't know. You, listen, you're just going to have to talk to him. I said, okay, no problem. So they escort me upstairs, and all, upstairs, all these crazy Secret Service agents, and they're like serious. These dudes are so serious. And we, we're standing there I'm with my buddy Walter, who's producing the event, and they're like, here's what's going to happen. The president's going to walk in those doors. He's going to come up those stairs. He's going to greet you first. Then he's going to greet you. We're going to introduce you. He's going to ask you what the options are. You give him three. Yes, sir, I can do that. If he doesn't know the song, just sing the song. And I said, okay. Now look at Walter. Walter's like, you're about to audition for the president. <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to go pray. So I literally walked down the hallway. I'm like, Jesus! 
And the Secret Service agents followed me the whole time, and they're like, uh, Mr. Withers, you need to get back in place. The president's in the building. Okay, great. So, just like they said, Ivanka Trump walked in first. She greeted me. She was like, hey, how you doing? By herself. No Secret Service. No security. She was just like, I'm a baller. <laughs> so she walked in, and then, and then the president, the first lady, the vice president, his wife, all these Secret Service people, they flood up these stairs. He walked right up like this, and he was like a close talker. And, uh, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Everybody good? You guys having fun? Having a good time? Good? It's good? <laughs> hey, even if you don't like the guy, it's funny. <laughs> and anyway, he goes, you got, they say, Mr. President, this is the man that's going to sing the first dance. Oh, good, 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 good. Listen. Uh, this is my wife. I was like, hello. <laughs> and uh, they held hands like the whole time. So when they talked with this hand, they just held hands the whole time. And he was like, he was like, listen, we don't want to do my way. We've already done it twice tonight. It doesn't look good. We don't like the way it looks on TV. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. So uh, you're the guy. You're in charge. What do you think we ought to do? And I said, how about the song Ooh Child? Because we had like an eight-piece band on soul stuff going on. Ooh child, I don't know ooh child. What is ooh child? You know ooh child? What is ooh child? And I just went, yeah, sir, it goes like this. Ooh child, things are gonna get easier. Ooh child, things will get brighter. And he was like, mmm. Mike Pence was like, yes, yes, that's a good one. That's good. And he was like, Shh, it's too fast. I don't wanna do something too fast. We gotta do it slow. We gotta do it slow. I don't wanna go out there and just dance, dance. We're not gonna dance, dance. We're just gonna do something slow. I said, how about the Whitney Houston version of I Will Always Love You? He goes, perfect. <laughs> he looked at his wife and said, babe, is that okay? Is that, is, that, is that okay? She said, yeah, that's fine. That's fine, sounds good. She'd been like wearing heels since four in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he says, okay, okay, great. And I said, sir, there's only, there's one thing. And he goes, yeah, what is it? And I said, uh, I always play that song by myself. I don't ever play that song with the band. Hmm. I think it would be good with the band. Don't you think it would be good with the band? We think it would, it would be good with the band. And it's for real. And Walter, Walter, you know, the producer of the event, my buddy, he's standing next to me and goes, sir, <clears throat> Josh's version of, of I Will Always Love You is the best you'll ever hear in your life, sir. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, Shh. I was like, why would you say that? <laughs> I was like, if I could crawl under a table right now, I'd just disappear. And he goes, he just looked at me like real, he goes, Josh, what's your best song? And I said, sir, that's got to be the best. Millions of people heard me sing that. He said, you know what? You're in charge. You're the guy. You know what, if you think that's the best, that's what we're gonna do, okay? Hey, you're the guy, we're gonna have fun. You have fun, I'll have fun, let's have fun. Everybody, let's have fun. Let's go downstairs, it's gonna be fun. We'll see you in a minute. And then he goes, he goes, uh, do you want a picture? I said, yes sir, I love a picture. Yeah, you want a picture, come on. Honey, honey, give him a picture. And then he said, uh, and, then, and, then he, and then he like, he like did this, he goes, hey, this goes good. We might sell a million records. And I was like, prophesy. <laughs> <laughs> and he, and he did, and, and that's what he said. And then he was like, all right, let's go downstairs. See you guys. And so I ran downstairs and I told the band, I was like, dude, this is my president. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Meanwhile, my wife, I tried to text her and I tried to call her. And I'm like, she kept just ditching me. And I'm like, what's going on? She's out doing the thing. And then. She was taking selfies with Tony Orlando. Well, was... What a pimp that guy is. My wife was smoking. And Tony was like, hey, baby, tie a yellow ribbon, eh? <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> so, anyway, we go downstairs and I'm like, hey, guys, guys, let's get around here. I was like, he said, I could do it by myself. I think we should do it with the band. You guys, if you see like what we're doing, I'm like, hey. He goes, A, F sharp minor, D, E. And I was like, just follow me. It's 6, 8, we'll be fine. Just, we're just gonna play it. Let's go. So we prayed, 
because that's what we have to do. And then we walked out on stage and we played that song. And for the only time we've ever played it in front of, uh, you know, 34 million people. We've never played it with a band since then because I was like, no, I'm gonna get cooler than that. <laughs> Unless like Beyonce wants to sing it or something. Like that. by some fluke coincidence, some guy who runs a Facebook page that posts a bunch of reggae stuff. Yeah. It's called I Reggae Nation. Finds this video on wherever, <laughs> YouTube, rips it off of YouTube, puts it on his page, and now it's got like 20 million views. Good bananas. <laughs> Which means I'll play it for the rest of my life. <laughs> Treat you kind 